And while Zack dreamed, he leveled up his repair skill and speech. Because he thought about giving a speech on how to repair his gun. Oh! What the f- And then Zack went to sleep. In third person! <laughs> now you boys play this one real close to the vest, and the overseer won't know what hit him. The time for our revolution is at hand. What? We just got word from the president. We have to make our move tonight. John Henry has a real sense of time and don't he? How long do we have? A little over 48 hours. We have to secure the data on the vault's mainframe and terminate Project Brazil. Then we're to report to Ravenrock. That's a hell of a tall order. We just barely got these patriots whipped into form. I think I can sell our hardliners on doing the job, but not all of them. We don't have a choice. I know. We'll have to pull the trigger. So he's a member of the Enclave. I'll order Terra Mason to rig the charges on the upstairs transformer. That should buy you the time to rally our forces and confront the Overseer. Good. It'll be a rude awakening for our newest recruits. <laughs> You're not going to warn them? No. They haven't been fully initiated into the Patriot program. If they're really Enclave material, they'll fall in line after the first shots are fired. That's a long call. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Carry them out. Of course. You soldiers hear that? The word came down from on high. America shall rise again tonight. I want this vault under Enclave control by morning. Round up the parasites and ingrates that have crippled this facility and herd them into the gym. Start with those barbarians you beat last night. Move out. Oh boy. Mason, ignite the charges. Get down. Oh no, my alarm clock exploded! Ow, my face! Oh, man! God damn it. My whole face. <laughs> Who put so many explosives in our alarm clocks? Crazy. Anyway. Ow! Uh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt real bad. Hey, Mike, how you doing? I'm doing great, all things considered. Um, oh. Your sister ain't looking so hot. Don't talk about my sister like that. Looks like she needs a leg up. Ah! Uh, <laughs> this explosion blew off her leg and killed her. Hey, look, if I stand like this, it looks like smoke is coming out of your head. <laughs> and if I stand like this, it looks like your face is crippled. <laughs> Uh, I have nothing to fix that. You gotta find a stim pack or something to fix your face. Uh, this is all that person I talked to on the computer's fault. Let's go flirt with them some more. Uh, person on computer, help me! Oh, the, the computer shut down because of malicious programs. Alright, we need to just get the hell out of here. Uh, Don't make me shoot you, kid. Put your hands up. Don't do it. Don't! You talking to us? We're not gonna me? do nothing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shoot you. Oh, you're, you're screaming ready. at him. He was... Oh. Poor no, oh, you're gonna take some things. God. I'm gonna teach you mess I just me. shot that kid. What the hell is going on? Joe Marshall, you're dead! We got no, the No, Joe Marshall, no! I you know, I probably should Is this actually a mini No, it's a vault ball. I I I feel like I'm supposed to feel worse about the fact that that person who may or may not have been my sister is dead. Am I supposed to feel worse? A doctor's bag! What about your brother? We should probably check on them. I, I did just check on him, and he is also dead. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh no, the explosion was so intense, it blew the sleeves off his vault suit. And it, it launched these noodles across the room, which I'm going to take all of them and eat them when I get... <laughs> Why is the water inside this vault radioactive? Thank God for all these for all these noodles, though. I won't be hungry for a long time. <laughs> when you run out of the stim bags, you can just down noodles. Because that's how it works in real life. Hungry, thirsty, low on health? Eat these noodles that are covered in your brother's blood. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to feel worse that my, quote, sister, unquote, is dead. But also, I just woke up here and I have no idea who these people actually are. Oh, so. You've known her your entire life. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I, I guess if my entire life... Wow. <laughs> he they came out with a knife. <laughs> they gave Jimmy Gingerly a knife and told him that he was a real patriot. Oh, hey. Hi. Are you alright? Uh, I guess. It looks like you just walked out of hell. When we checked your dorm for survivors, we figured you were dead. You weren't breathing. When we saw Mandy and Sean, we figured you must be dead too. 
Uh, I'm sorry. You didn't you didn't actually check, did you? Dude, you just shot that guy. I I I know. They were trying to kill us. We we didn't have a choice. It's it's some kind of riot or an armed takeover by Bragg or Chevy. I was about to head to bed when they they called us all into the gym. The kids were all in these weird vault suits with a big E stitched on the back. Then they started lining people up. The transformers upstairs exploded. The the screams I heard. Then they sent me to round up more folks. I thought we were trying to save them. Then they started shooting the old folks. We rallied the security team and started to march on the gym, but they broke our lines. I tried to get to the pipeworks, but I got stuck down here in this hallway with Bob instead. We've been down here helping the wounded get to the upper apartments ever since. E's on their back. The E must stand for evil. Yes, it stands for cartoonishly evil, which is what the Enclave is. I guess what can I do to help? Look, we've got to go help the rest of Vault Security. They're all holed up in the hydroponics lab. The Patriots took over everything upstairs. Only place they don't control is the pipeworks in the upper apartments. If you can manage to find your way there, you can help out however you can. Um, alright, what do I do once I get there? You're a scientist, right? I heard Rossman say on the radio they're trying to blow up the reactors. Check all these robots. They should activate with a standard password and help you fight back. I, why do you keep saying I'm a scientist? Because <laughs> it got tackled really hard. Because I got beat up? Yes. Is that it? Whatever, how do I get there? God, kid, you must have really gotten slobber knocked during the cave-in. You know where the upper apartments are. They're right next door. Try to see if Joe has a key on his body. They shot him right before I came down here. He might have a key to the pipeworks. Just find a hatch and dive in. It'll get you past most of the fighting. I, like, how did Bragg get so many people to kill for him? Bragg said something about bringing America back to glory. I guess it was more than just his campaign slogan. I was never a Wasteland scout, but I read their reports. There was a lunatic cult in the Wasteland years ago called the Enclave that talked like that. I, I should have seen it coming. We all should. Bored. Enclave isn't real, they don't exist. Is there anyone else down here? I, I, I don't know. I haven't had time to check. Those Patriots have kept us on our heels. The Transformers were right above your house, and the Hail Place. You might want to go check on them, see if anyone's alive down there. All right, I, I, I know what to do, thank you. Grab one of those riot shields. They won't stop a bullet, but they'll help. Also, grab their armor, it looks pretty good. Mark, you and Bobby okay down there? Yeah, we're all right here, for now. Good, we secured the Overseer. Those brainwashed Enclave kids are trying to burn us out of the hydroponics lab. You keep watching that hall. Overseer Christensen's alive? Oh, that's good news. I just sent some survivors your way. Watch your fire. Send them to Sergeant Norman in the upper apartment. He'll know what to do. We're, we're being attacked by the Patriots. You know what this means? Uh, damn the Patriots. Damn the Patriots! And then I shoot a Metal Gear Ray with a P90. Yes. Which somehow the P90 bullets are capable of penetrating the, what I presume, is depleted uranium armor. You got it, Dr. Octopus. All right, well, uh, hello. Dude. I always knew you were cooler than those assholes. Where are your brother and sister? Uh, they're dead. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. I'm sorry. Damn, your sister was the only one I had a chance with. Yeah, she's hot, right? It's Coach Bragg. He and his patriots freaked and started shooting everyone. They blew up the Transformers in the upper apartments, destroyed my house. Then they sealed the gym and lit it on fire. Okay, back up. What's the situation? It started about an hour ago. I was up late, reviewing some prime, uh, security footage, when all of a sudden a huge explosion rocked the vault. You were looking at porn. The lights went out. Nobody knew what was going on. We thought it was an earthquake. Chevy from security called over the intercom for everyone to go into the gym. Bragg was there, sorting people according to a list. Tara grabbed me and threw me in line, which would normally be great, but she pointed a gun at my head. <laughs> After a few minutes, Overseer Christensen called and tried to counter the order. We saw Bragg nod, then the Patriots ran into the atrium. Then the shooting began, and I've been trapped in this hall ever since. What busy morning for you! Do you hear that? Who's crying? I- I hadn't noticed. It must be Jennifer Hale. I'd recognize her crying sounds anywhere. I've got them on holotape. What?! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, dude?! If they're after the Overseer, Bragg's gotta be in the admin hallway. Oh shit, you're right! 
Look, I have this laser pistol. I built it custom from a kit I found in the wasteland. It'll definitely help. Cool, I will take that. Bragg killed Zack's family! We must fight back! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No way! You're fucking crazy! I'm staying right here where it's safe and not full of bullets or angry people. I, this place was just assaulted two, two minutes ago. You, you, just, you just stay there then. <laughs> uh, hello? We found a survivor! What do you want? Please, just leave me alone. Oh, you're not voiced by Jennifer Hale? That makes me sad. Mm, I don't think this mod got Jennifer Hale. <laughs> All right. Guys, please don't shoot me, okay? I know I'm wearing the Enclave outfit, but please just don't, don't shoot me. I think they're smart enough not to shoot you. There we go. There, right, now we'll blend in. We're both part of Team Evil. Evil! I am evil! Hello. Hey, you, over there. Are you one of us, or are you one of them? Uh, why don't you take me to Coach Bragg? He can use my technical and science skills. Yes, absolutely. Come with me. Okay! Found you. <laughs> I immediately shot her in the back. Nice. <laughs> You've been spotted by Vault Security wearing an Enclave uniform. What the f- You are now targeted as an enemy. No! Uh, you idiots! <laughs> hey, you. Over there. Are you one of us, or are you one of them? Uh, I'll say, well, I'll say whatever it takes to get in your pants, baby. Come with me. Yeah, we're gonna go get laid today, Mike. Uh, we? Oh, I'm invited to this threesome, am I? Oh, it's my first orgy. I'm scaled. Okay, bye. Have fun. <laughs> wait, where are you going? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now we got a Protectron companion. Yay! Yay, go Protectron. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, hello. Are you guys bad guys or good guys? They're right, shooting at us. I'll take it. I know we were trained for this, but I'm scared out of my mind. I never thought we'd be fighting against our own kids. I had better taste in music when I was 14. I mean, yeah, I was listening to the Killer Instinct soundtrack, but I was also listening to Rage Against the Machine. So like, what, what the hell is this crap? Yeah, they cancel each other out. Oh, we can't get up that way. Oh, uh, how am I gonna rescue that girl that I thought was cute? I'm sure she'll find her own way out. Or the other girl that I thought was cute that had the robot arm. How am I going to rescue her? They're all fine, probably. Hopefully. Unlike these people that are lying on the ground dead. Protect the overseer. Yes. Keep, stay with me here. Stay with me here. I'm, I'm behind you, but I mean, I don't, I don't get it. America doesn't hide, but why is it the French flag? <laughs> why does it say America doesn't hide, but it's the French flag? America doesn't hide. It just disguises itself as the French. We should check out all these rooms, see if we can find any survivors, and kill any of these patriot quotes. Oh, I'm supposed to be following her. Even though she just watched me kill one of- <laughs> Yeah, no, we're definitely on your side. Yep, definitely on your side, said the man wearing the vault security armor. She might be leading us into a trap, too. One last time. Where the hell is the key you. to unlock that You're door? You're sick bastard, Bragg. Try all you want. You. Wow! You were that creepy little nerd that fumbled the ball last night. I hear you <laughs> tried to hack into our transmitter array. You never had much to write home about, so how about you and I work out a deal? You throw in with us now, and we'll make you all you can be. How about it? You want to bring America back to glory, kid? What's that noise? Open fire! Yeah, look behind you didn't work. <laughs> Great, now I have to shoot all these guys. Oh boy, oh boy. It's a lot of people to shoot. That didn't work. Okay, so we don't want to follow her. Oh, I also have a melee skill of one, so there's no way this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't know if about we can this. actually kill Bragg, I'll consider this a success. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. We killed him! We did it! We did it! We did it, Reddit! We caught the Zodiac Killer! Oh, the riot shield's part of the armor! Cool. Oh, that's neat! Oh, I look kind of weird with this gas mask on. Eh, but whatever. <laughs> we'll leave the bananas, though, because I don't really want those. And other people can have them. I, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of pears, either. <laughs> all right, all right. Who left flares? 
Who's... <laughs> All right. Somebody's been down here. This, this place is kind of a maze. Maybe they were trying to solve it with some kind of algorithm. I guess we'll go through the fire then. Yeah, I guess really the only way to go is to the quarters. Because, like, I'm not going this way. Oh, wait, hang on. Quick, put out the fire! Yeet! It's, it doesn't seem to be working. What an ineffective extinguisher! Oh, wait, I don't... Whoa, it's making it worse! It's making it worse! Let's go, let's go! These apartments have seen better days, just like your sister. Indeed. Who? How the hell did you get in here? We thought you guys downstairs were dead. You'd better get ready. We're just barely fending them off. Are you? I managed to sneak up through the atrium. The place was a mess. Right. F forget it. It's good to see. We really needed to come across a friendly face for a change. Shit, they're back. Grab that rifle and get down. Rifle? Rifle? Oh, you rifle? Cut, you cut his ear. No, that I was gonna grab- What the hell is this thing? Are you dead? Hey, he's, he's not moving. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it doesn't even have any ammo. <laughs> How did you die? Very dramatically. Hey, um... Hey, kid. You doing all right? <laughs> Better than that guy down there! You know, if you have a beard, it means that your gas mask is gonna seal very well. Just for future reference. I've been better. What's the situation? Yeah, sorry to hear about your tribe downstairs. Mark radioed in and told us what happened to your family. I'm sorry. Bragg's Patriots are in control of the atrium and the vault entrance. We got word they're trying to override the main door controls. I knew Chevy was weird the minute we let her and Bragg into the vault. That fake, folky attitude and American cult talk. They're part of the Enclave, all right. Sneaky bastards. So we've seen. Did you happen to see Yeti downstairs? No nope. one has seen them since this started. We don't know who Yeti is. Everyone I saw was dead except for Jen. Damn it. I've known that giant Joker my whole life. Loved him like a brother. Sorry, kid. He might still be alive. We've all lost someone tonight. We didn't see him. We have to hold it together for the survivors. So what do we do? We have to get you to the hydroponics lab. The rest of Vault Security and some survivors from the initial attack fled there. Overseer Christensen lost his wife and your brother Jason. He's a mess. He's a good leader in peacetime, but he falls to bits under pressure. I'm worried he's going to do something stupid. Before Rossman ran out on us, he showed me a passage he dug through his bathroom wall. It's right through that door over Why there. Why would he have dug? Okay. He always was the smart one of the four of us. Probably saw this coming years ago. How did you let them get so well armed? <sighs> Politics. Bragg knew just what to say to get the old folks to fear for their lives. And looked to him to protect them. Rossman mouthed off at a council meeting a few years back and told them about the raiders looking to break open the vault. They panicked. Bragg convinced the overseer to let them train the kids after that. Inch by inch, he used his folksy parade to win more and more support. We never expected he'd do something like this. We thought the kids were disciplined and smart. That they'd protect the vault, not destroy it. Well, we thought wrong. Too late now. I just hope after this is all over, we can coax the kids back to reality. They can't all be bad. We'll get through to them. Deprogramming? Somehow. I, what did you guys do out in the wasteland to piss the Enclave off so badly? It's a long story. Really? One day I have a feeling you're going to inherit our mess. But if we survive this, I think you have the right to know what we know. I feel like you probably could just explain it to me. Fine, what should I do? I need you to go to the hydroponics lab and see Overseer Christensen. You just said that. I know you guys have some history. Him adopting Jason and not you. We have a history? But there's more to it than you know. Here's the key to the cistern. Take anyone you can convince to go with you. We're going to stay here and watch your back. Keep bragging his brainwashed patriots from following you in. Good luck. Uh, who is we? Is it, it's just you, my guy. Ooh, another shotgun! Neat. Neat. <laughs> Look at that thing. Uh, Robo Jimbo. <laughs> I like ro Okay! Yay! That was fun. <laughs> Oh, hey, it's you! Oh my god. We were afraid you were killed in the explosion. How did you get up here? Are you alright? 
I'm fine. Had a little scuffle in the hallway. How are you? I'm okay. We've been fighting up here for over an hour. When the bombs went off, I thought you were dead. I saw the flames from the transformer on top of your apartment. I couldn't help but imagine the worst. Where's the rest of your tribe? Are they all right? No, they're dead. I, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm just glad you're all right. Our whole tribe is dead. The ones that survived are trying to bury us. I know it's insane, but what if we're better off in the wasteland? Life may never go back to normal in the vault again. The first step has got to be out of this room. What do you want to do? You know, I don't want to bring this up, but are you sure that you're fit to fight? Kinda. I sobered up real quick when the Patriots stormed in and painted the walls with my friends. We barely survived the last fight. It's a weird way of putting that. I don't want to weigh you down. Then again, I don't have much of a choice, do I? What aren't you telling me? It's nothing. It's just... I heard Bragg and Chevy talking about you before they threw the switch. I barely got out of the Transformer room alive. But before they saw me, they were planning on whether or not to go get you before blowing it up. You could have saved us, but you were drunk? Well, whatever. Hey, stop. I know, all right? I was drunk. I wasn't thinking. I just barely managed to get back to the upper levels before they started shooting. I wanted to run downstairs and get you, but I couldn't make it in time. There were just too many of them, and we didn't have guns at that point. I don't see how this changes anything. I'd rather take a bullet running towards those traitors than away from them. I think you should wait here. I'll work ahead, and then I'll let you know when you can come up and it will be safe. I guess that'll be all right. Eric and Sergeant Norman will be holding the downstairs hallway. Good luck. Uh, Eric is freaking dead. Yeah, he, he, he fell over, all right. Hydroponics lab. Yes. Yes. So far, so good. Oh, were we just growing mushrooms in there? Is that all we were growing? I, I guess portobellos are good on pizzas. It's, it's fine. Oh, holy shit. Where the hell did you come from, kid? The, the, I followed Rossman's trail. It was super easy. There was like no enemies. Well, if you can get through, I'm sure they can. Are you sure you weren't followed? I'm sure. We secured the upper apartments before I left. What's going on here? It looks like Bragg finally gave up on trying to get into the overseer's office and decided to torch the airlock. Bastards tried to pump reactor exhaust through the vents, but Rossman stopped it. I guess they figured their last approach is through the front door. The path you took getting here is our only supply line to the rest of the vault, and they've had it locked down for over an hour. Well, it's clear now. Well, that's not good. These doors were built to melt under arc from those torches. <laughs> some safety feature. You should hook up with some of the scientists and see what you can do to help. Dr. Cobalt could use some help, I'm sure. After Dr. Rossman ran out on us during the reactor scare, we've been without a technical expert. What? Where the hell did he go? For all we know, he could be halfway to Los Angeles on some secret helicopter he built out of tin cans and duct tape. Wouldn't surprise me. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, is the overseer okay? The old man? He's in bad shape. It's the reason I'm standing in this hallway instead of guarding his private office. Not long ago, we got word Jason was killed by Chevy in the atrium. Albert just about went to pieces in front of us, ordered us out. We've been standing in the dark ever since. All right, well, I'll see what I can do. Just make sure that our backs are safe, I guess. I'm giving the orders here, kid. You get a position along that wall the moment you see sparks on that door. Uh -huh. If Rossman was right, you've got five minutes to get ready. Ooh, five minutes to prepare defenses. Okay. 10 millimeter pistol laser sight. All right, man. This is going to be it. We get five minutes, then it's all over. Those punks are going to break down that door and come in hot. We don't want to be in their way when they do. Hold positions on either side of the room, then make for the barricade. Let them funnel into your shots. Don't be where they expect you. It's split seconds and gnat hairs separating you from the grave in this place. Use your real estate. Make every shot count. Now go on. Man your stations. Good speech! Yay, speech. A turret. Ooh, can we get that working? Uh, hey, there we go. Putting on the lab uniform and hack it, hack, hack. Turrets are online. Hey, boys, we got a turret now. Yeah, not shooting it. Um, am I, what am I supposed to be doing? Setting up defenses, you know, because you're the only competent one. Oh, all right. Well, we'll at least have two robots and a turret. 
Okay, that's that's pretty good defenses. That's more than nothing. Bread. Dude, that bread is not gonna stop. Lady, fire, lady, fire, dude. Fire. Oh shit. Oh, they're coming Whoa, in. Whoa, that was fast. All right, we had less time than we thought. I know how to use a machine gun. I know how to use a machine gun. I know how to use a machine gun. It's almost out of ammo. That's what you get when you mess with the wrong vault. Oh, did we kill Bragg? I heard somebody's death girl. Uh, dude, we killed Bragg. Woo! And he didn't kill us this time. That's nice. Let's drop that thing. Yeah. Oh, shit, son! This, my friend, is a China Lake 40mm three-shot pump-action grenade launcher. I... Capable of accurately placing grenades on targets up to 400 meters. Hmm. You were very knowledgeable of that firearm. Uh, yeah. He was faking! Whoa! Oh, shit! He's not actually dead! Oh, he's not coming back from that one, though! Oh, sorry, Mike. Yeah, some of the pellets hit me, though. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's a, What's a little Dick Cheney between friends? <laughs> I probably could have worded that better. <laughs> I like how that's become a synonym for friendly fire. <laughs> John Diesel Anderson. Uh, nice nickname, I guess. Hey, kid. I've got a special mission for you. This may look like it's over, but it isn't. Not by a long shot. I, we just killed Brad. I need you to go check on Overseer Christensen. He's in that big cavern at the far end of the vault. Go through the door at the end of the lab. He may not want to see anybody right now, so tread lightly. I've got to go take care of these wounded. Did you see Bragg try to get back up after he died? I tried not to notice that. <laughs> go pop a few rounds off in him, just in case. I won't say a word. Then go see the overseer for me. I mean, his head kind of exploded. Is there anything else I should know? Kid, there's a million things we need answers to. Chevy is still in control of the security office and the main entrance. Our next move is to take her out, quick and easy, then hit the gym. Yeah, time to pump some Oh, you mean we have to go to the gym to save people. <laughs> We've still got more than 200 people trapped in the stadium, and the place is burning up quick. Finish what you've got to do, then report back. Alright, I'm on my way to see him. But first we have to finish looting. Oh, hey, Tara Mason's here. Why are all these guys only armed with like, wow, they did a really good job modeling this, this 10 mil. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow, they actually did a really good job modeling this. It actually looks like a Desert Eagle. Cool. Which is what the 10 mil is supposed to be based on. And they actually, they actually made the lug recesses inside the barrel. They did a really good job modeling this pistol. Nice. Dang. Oh, that's cool. The magazine has witness marks in it. You can take the mag out of the gun and just see at a glance how many rounds you have left. Is that a glass window or something? It's just a hole cut in the magazine. So there's more of a chance dirt can get in there. Yeah, but I mean, if the magazine's in the gun, then it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get dirt in it if the magazine's in the gun. <laughs> if it's in the gun, then having a window wouldn't matter because you wouldn't be able to see it. Well, you just take the mag out and look at it. But it's not a huge concern because most of the time the magazines are going to be in pouches. All right. So now we're gonna go talk to the overseer. Hey, over this is a really terrible overseer's office, but whatever. I kind of like it. Do you? I, I, yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of fun. I it's mean, neat. I would, I would like, I would totally work on a desk back here. All right. Uh, how's it going? You look sad. Oh, it's you. You're alive. What about the rest of the lower apartments? Your brothers and sister. Uh, they didn't make it. So it's true what they say. Everything we've been through with those tribal kids, all the, all the sacrifices of the Wasteland Scouts, it's all been for nothing. I mean, we, we did kill Bragg. Silver lining. We kind of won. You call that winning? Did you see what they did to the vault? They ruined the atrium, blew up half the lower apartments, crippled hydroponics. They're not done yet. They're trying to smoke us out. But we're not going to let them. Those enclave sons of bitches. Uh, are you okay? I'm not, kid. I haven't been for a long time. Been fighting lung cancer for years. Now this... Bragg killed my son. He killed my wife. Two hundred of us are dead out of three hundred the night before. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know what this giant tomb really was? An experiment. All those big TVs down in the atrium, the cables and the computer lab, all of it. 
It was a test. A great big ruse. It just wanted to see how long it'd take us to crack to push this big red knob here and end the shame of it. Well, here's your answer, vault Tech. 160 years. And some damn fools gave us a good reason to use it. Uh, wh I don't understand. What the hell are you doing? Oh, don't you? But I set the self-destruct. What? I, Why? I didn't even realize this place had a self-destruct. Why did you set the self-destruct? I'm going to the reactors. I can shut them down. No, you can't. The cores have already begun to separate the gases. They'll explode any minute. You'd die trying to stop them. Fine, then I have to get everyone that I can find and make a break for it. No one's going to trust you. All your tribal friends have joined the Stars and Stripes. But I'm going to give you a chance. Evanson has the main door control key. He'll unlock the big cog. The, the exit cog? Great. Great. That's... Okay, so this is it. Would you like to come with us? What, Mike? Go on, run! Escape while you can! I'm gonna go down with the ship where I belong. What a world. What the fuck? Man, what a coward. Jackass. Great! Um... Oh, shit. Really? You didn't even wait for- Okay, fine. Thanks! Great! I feel like I sh- What the hell happened down there? He, he shot himself. Definitely wasn't me. I didn't do it. Uh, he set the self-destruct mechanism, too. That actually was him. Jesus. Grab everyone you can find. Tell them to make a dash for the main entrance. How do we activate the main vault door? Aren't we trapped? The door will open automatically when I give the signal. I'll meet you at the main entrance. Get going. Uh, All right, well, now I have to rescue everyone I can find. Right, and we can't leave without a robot dog companion. Oh, shit, you're right. You gotta keep them educated. Do you know that guy has a freaking doctorate? The guy who sang that song? The, the, the lead singer of The Offspring has, like, a doctorate <laughs> in, like, microbiology. Yeah? He came up with a song, uh, Keep Them Separated, when he was working in a lab with Petri dishes, and he would <laughs> he would keep the Petri dishes away from each other and go, gotta keep them separated. Is that the, the origin of that song? Yes! I'm not even kidding! <laughs> Dude is smart as hell!